All right, this is my 120. This is my Gymno Geophagus tank fish from Uruguay. Real rare fish. There's some. That's a different one. There's two rainbows in here, big Papua New Guinea rainbows. These fish get really pretty. And there's a Bolivian ram and a ton of Cory's. Got about 10 gymnos in here, two different species. Can't hardly see them right now. The lights just came on. And then I got the 125 long with some rainbows, uh, Erian rainbows, Bosmanis, those Papua New Guinea ones, bunch of Bolivians in here. Um, and this is a different Gymno Geophagus called a Blue Neon. Got three of those, turquoise rainbow, bunch of hatchet fish. And a ton of Cory's, about 10 different species. And I got a 29 gallon with African Bashardis. Just start off with two and this is what I've got now. They, it's like five generations in here. They're super easy. Those are the oyster shells from the bank, oyster bank. And then got a 90 gallon with the big Cuban cichlid. He's not big yet, but he's real cool with a 10, or eight uh, giant danios and some hoplo catfish and some quarry cats he hasn't killed yet. There, there's a eight year old giant danio. Maybe that one. Then I got down here my breeding stock of green quarries. There's some huge ones in here. There's also a brown ghost knife that you never see. But this is on Eco Complete Substrate. It's the only one that's not sand. And they just lay eggs constantly. This is another Gymnogeophagus species that had ick. And it took 13 days to cure it. There's some Bolivian rams and some Dumbo ear. Guppies I raised that don't have the Dumbo ear. They, they just have like a little bit on their fin. So that's a nice little planet tank. And then I have my racks in here. And some grow out cores, not much in there. But uh, small cores. I haven't met, I've been letting these uh, filters get going good. Some more cores. Another bed. Uh, some more cores. Keep one bed in each one, to, one uh, guppy in each one to keep it clean. It's a platy somebody gave me. Bolivian ram, shrimp, bunch of shrimp in here, and I threw a bunch of cory eggs. And now there's like a hundred cory cats in here with shrimp. And uh, these are the one of the Dumbo ear offspring that actually looks pretty good. So he's impregnated these five females. There's a golden killifish I found. Some pepper cats. Up here I got probably 200 cory cats in here about a month old these are a little these are a couple months old with some uh, dwarf praycox neon rainbows they're small but they're pretty cool and then another tank with a bunch of shrimp I've given out a bunch recently a bunch of shrimp in there just shrimp that's pretty much it